One of the primary reasons that I use Make is to have automated workflows running in the background all day so that I don't have to initiate anything and it just runs by itself. The key to how that happens is the scheduler. Down in the bottom left hand corner, we have a play button. To almost anyone who uses modern digital apps, it should be obvious what that does. It runs your scenario. Underneath it, you have a toggle option. This enables automated scheduling of this scenario. Once you have it on, it will behave according to the dictates of this setting right here. The default is 15 minutes. So if we want to change that interval and run it at a different schedule, click where it says every 15 minutes, run scenario, and we have a drop down. We have once, every day, days of the week, days of the month, on specified dates, and on demand. So you have quite a few ways in which you can configure your scheduling. The default setting is to run at regular intervals and to define what interval. It's set to 15 minutes. We can set it to pretty much anything we want. 60 minutes, 200 minutes, whatever you want to name. And then click OK, and that's it. Once I click OK, that is set and my toggle is set to on, this scenario is going to run every hour on the hour. If we select once, this allows us to define a date, usually sometime in the future, and this will run the scenario at that time. This is good for a single execution and, you know, it's totally dependent on what you're using it for as to why you might choose that. Underneath once, you have the option to run every day which allows you to specify a time. The scenario will then run every day at that time. We have the option for days of the week. Same thing, only we're now defining a day and a time. Go to days of the month. Again, the exact same, only we're defining a day and a time. And we can define multiple days within an entire month instead of just the week. On specified dates, select a month, select your date, and select your time. Then we have on demand. On demand really just turns off the scheduler. That way you have to hit play every time you want to run this workflow. Let's backtrack for a second and go back to at regular intervals. Right underneath the minutes field where we define our time interval, we have advanced scheduling. Click on add item. And right here is where we can do some pretty fancy things with our scheduling. Click down where it says time from and you want to select a time. So let me invent something in my head real quick that I'm doing. I'm promoting a weekend venue that's having lots of cool events and I want to promote it during a certain uh, month, basically. So I'm going to say I want to hit everyone right as they're about to get off work or right after they've got off work. I'm going to start this at 3 p.m. And if I want to be very specific, can mo manually modify that and then I'm going to want that to run right till bedtime so I'm going to say 11 p.m. so from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. every hour it's going to execute this scenario and I want to do that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and then what the heck Saturday, Sunday as well and because the events that I'm promoting are in July, I'm going to choose my months leading up to it so that I can promote that and try to create a crowd. There we go. And now I have a scenario that's going to run in between those times on those days every hour on the hour.